I'm Matt Reisinger. And I'm Tori Belichi. And in the Build Show today, we're shooting this. <laughs> the Build Show today, we're going to be doing some hurricane testing. Now, Tori, what is this rig that we got here? Well, we got a giant air cannon that's going to be firing two by fours at different sections of walls to yeah. see if these things are rated strong enough to, you know, deflect the two by four. Now, now what kind of speed are we thinking this is gonna pull out of here? On well, I, ha I have the radar gun. Okay, right. uh, I, apparently 90 miles an hour is what this uh, cannon is gonna be firing, but okay. we'll, we'll double check that. But uh, All right, so we got a couple wall sections and we're gonna fire the first one now. We're all locked and loaded. This first wall, if you remember, is the one that we shot some guns at, and it did not stop even at 22. Oh, right on so I can't imagine it's gonna stop a two by four, oh. but this is a wall section that's all over America. We've got vinyl siding, we've got uh, T-ply sheathing, it's like a cardboard sheathing on there. And then on the inside, we've got some uh, insulation and some half inch sheetrock. Y'all ready to go? We're ready to fire, people. Okay, should I do a countdown? You gotta get the radar gun run. You ready? All right, guys, you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, I think that two by four went through the wall. <laughs> but that's just me. Uh, it's hard to stop laughing. So that was 81 miles an hour. 81 miles an hour. And it oh punched, my it punched gosh. right through. Tori, that vinyl didn't do much, did it? Not at all. <laughs> now, how do you feel about this fiber concrete board? Uh, I don't think it's gonna do much better, but this is a good wall assembly, right? We've got 7 16 OSB and fiber cement. I mean, that would stop something, you would think. I mean, are we confident that this piece of board is gonna go through that wall? And not bounce back at us yeah. and shatter? I mean, that could be ugly if that, that thing comes shooting back at us. we got safety goggles on, we're okay, right? <laughs> <laughs> I just hope I survive this uh, video series. <laughs> are you ready, Tori? Three! Two, one, go! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Look at that, dude. That, oh my God. That, that is a perfect, perfect square. Hole. Can we walk there, up to it? That is it. Are we? Yeah, we're clear. We're clear. clear. Look at that hole, Dude, man. that is a perfect rectangle. Oh my gosh. I had no idea it would do that. I figured it would shatter the thing. It's like, that's exactly an inch and a half by three and a half. That is great. Look, we're, we're like high-fiving <laughs> natural disasters right now. <laughs> you know what? Before we move on, why don't we reset this bad boy and see if we can hit a stud? All right, if we're doing that, I think we should definitely take a few steps back because if it doesn't get through that stud, we're gonna be covered in splinters. Yeah, I like that. So let's hide over here by this behind, microphone. Behind, should give behind us some, the, some extra protection. Behind the C stand. All right, that's as far as my switch goes. Are you ready, people? Let's see what this does. We should be lined up on a stud. Same fiber cement siding. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, Dude. I, think we, I don't know if we hit the stud, but I think we clipped the stud. Let's go look. Did we clip the stud? You smashed into it. We smashed into it. It hit it, hit it and then veered off oh, to the it right. it bounced, didn't it? Oh, we missed the stud a little bit. Dang it! We were off. My laser my laser sight. No, we should have got off. that laser sight in oh, place. Darn. Are we going to do this again? This time, uh, this time, let's try to hit the This time, let's actually hit the post. try to hit the stud, shall All right. we? Yeah. All right, let's move back as far as we can. Get a little bit more coverage from this tiny metal stand here holding a microphone up. Are you ready? Ready. You ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, what? <laughs> oh that was Whoa. awesome. That was incredible. It smashed what happened? out the stud. The, did the stud break apart? It looked like it smashed through the stud. Oh, dang. Oh my gosh, look at this back here. I hope the GoPro got that. Look at it, it split all the way up wow. the drywall. It like pushed the stud back. Oh, you're gonna absolutely destroy your house if a two by four hits 
I mean, not like you're not going to die anyways from the other two by fours coming through, but. But that's good for your company. <laughs> We're going to reset this. You can build broken houses. So far, these two by fours are just flying through these walls. Huh? Nothing much is stopping it, Tori, but I. What's up next? Let's see what happens here. So uh, I attend this nerd camp every year with a bunch of building science guys. Big I shocker. <laughs> I could have sworn I heard a couple years ago somebody talking about this kind of testing where if you use closed cell spray foam or structural foam it's sometimes referred to as inside the wall cavity that it would help stop a 2x4 and it wouldn't penetrate. So we've got Advantex sheeting, super high duty uh, sheeting from the guys at Huber and the stud bay has been almost totally filled with around 3 inches of closed cell foam. So let's see if this does any difference. You ready? All right. Should let's, we uh, uh, stand yeah, out of, let's, just let's in move. case it goes back, straight back. Yeah, let's stand back here. You ready? Yep. All right, people. Should I give you a countdown again? I kind of like the countdown. I'll give you a countdown. You ready? You give the countdown. All right. And 19, 18, <laughs> let's start a little, 17. Let's start Let's go. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that didn't have a chance. So it turns out the foam doesn't really stop much. <laughs> turns out what I heard at camp was totally wrong. Maybe I misheard that. Apparently that didn't do anything. All right. Structural foam, not a lot. Let's see what it looks like in the back though. I am curious. Let me turn the bang switch off. Oh, dude. Took a chunk of foam out like yeah, nothing. That's... Yeah, that didn't stop much, did it? <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, sorry. Right. That was a waste of time, people. Should we, should we move on? Let's move on. Let's move on. Next wall. Next wall. All right. This is your prototype bulletproof wall. That's right. So if you saw our other video, this is the wall that I prototype that I think is going to do pretty well here. Watch our other video to see how well it did on that one. But it stopped a 9 millimeter bullet. I think we have a solid chance here. Here's what we're looking at. we got fiber cement. You really think Half this inch. is going to stop these missiles? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it stopped a 9 millimeter. Uh, fiber cement, half-inch OSB, then, of course, uh, sheetrock and uh, uh, insulation. But here's the key. On the back of that, we've got a sandwich of three-quarter plywood, 18-gauge uh, gauge metal, sheet metal, and then another three-quarter plywood that's going to help keep the metal in place. Again, it stopped it. A few bullets, not everything, but a few bullets. And so you feel you feel comfortable firing it from here? I do, yeah, I think so. But let's stand back a little further. Okay. <laughs> and off to the side a little bit. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, you ready? Matt's prototype bulletproof wall. Prototype bulletproof wall. In three, this. two, one. Oh! oh! Yeah, baby! <laughs> it stopped wow! it! Wow! It bounced off! But wait, the real key is now if there's a bulge on the back. Oh, hold on, let me turn this off. If there's if there's a bulge on the back, we failed the test. We failed the test. We failed the test if there's a bulge in the back. So let's let's go have a look, people. Oh, oh. there's definitely a bulge on the back. But that, I mean, but dude, that's pretty. But pretty you're gonna good. live, yeah. That's pretty good. All right, so your house is going to need a remodel. Clearly, you're going to call the, clearly you're gonna the need drywall call. guy. <laughs> you're going to call the drywall guy. You're going to need my guys to replace your siding. But, yeah. But you're going to live, dude. Nice work, dude. How about that? Woo! Not bad at all. I like that. All right, so for a wood-framed wall, we found it. But, of course, no one's building their house with a couple layers of three-quarter plywood. Well, not now they're gauge. not. But they might. They might. They might. Tori, what'd you think of the ranch? Uh, pretty epic. Uh, those spiders were giant. <laughs> it is Texas, my man. But I had a lot of fun. Thanks for bringing me out. The was... two by four cannon was pretty awesome. Dude, I gotta say, it was terrifying. I mean, to see how easily those two by fours yeah. going at 80 miles an hour just punch right through home walls. I mean, it's staggering. But I have to give it to you. You you came up with a wall that actually stopped a two by four. Yeah, I know that was pretty cool. I just thought of this. You know, how could we get materials from a local source, not not specialty stuff, throw it together in some layers? And sure enough, it worked. That sandwich of three-quarter plywood, 18-gauge sheet metal, and three-quarter plywood. And 
as you saw it bounced out. I'm impressed. You're onto something. Pretty cool. I smell a future video too, I think, Tori. Maybe we'll get you back in the future. Ooh, it smells ripe. <laughs> Guys, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show. Maybe try dropping the the. How really? Drop the the? On Build Show. Like Facebook? Drop the the? It's just Facebook? Try it. See you next time. Build Show. Well, you lost the on, but whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, we filmed this several weeks ago with Tori. I had no idea that Hurricane Dorian was going to be hitting this weekend as we're publishing this. Our thoughts and prayers are with everybody in the Bahamas that's been absolutely flooded by this hurricane the last few days. And our thoughts and prayers are also with you on the east coast of America. If you're in Florida and all those other northern states that are about to get hit, be safe out there, guys. We did have a big announcement for today, something I want to tell you about. I've got a brand new network that I've been working on called the Build Show Network. It's basically Netflix for builders. It's a for builders by builders network of like-minded builders who are interested like I am in building science and fine craftsmanship and teaching that next generation of builders how to do things right, how to do the best practices and use the best products and do things correctly in their jobs. We're out there filming with some of those builders right now and we've got a new website that's just about to unveil, so stay tuned for that. It should be ready in about the next 30 days. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. If you're not currently a subscriber, hit that subscribe button below. We've got new content every Tuesday and every Friday. That's not gonna change, but pretty soon we're gonna have a website with a lot more content from other builders besides me. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram, otherwise we'll see you next time on The Build Show.